Okay. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Uh, uh, no. Chicken. What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. Maybe I'm a little chicken. Uh, huh. <laughs> Man, she can pull a full-grown man up. Jesus, she looks kind of lanky. I mean, I understand she's athletic and everything, but she looks kind of lanky. What the hell? Oh, it's this exposed part of the. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Are you kidding me? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. Whoa. See you back in class. Molly. You fucking kidding me? Damn it! What the hell is she doing? She's like Catwoman. All right. Can't open it without the combination. Oh, let's see how they're doing in here. They still not fucking in. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I just did my entire fucking mission and you haven't gotten it done yet. Ah, wow. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Um. Yeah, like I'm going back out to the fucking alley. Oh, well, let's check back at the classroom and see what's up. It's on the ground. Little help! Little help here! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Oh god! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna squish your head, asshole. Squish his head! Fuck you, bitch! We got Break the door with something! Okay. Why? <sighs> Hopefully they don't break that glass. Damn well better. There's so many of them. Jesus. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Shh. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. All right. You're back. Hey, yeah, Clem. And we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. He fucking tells him right now. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. <sighs> All right. Well, Bree. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Mm. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Yeah. True. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? <laughs> what do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I understand. <laughs> All I'm right. busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I wouldn't mind helping with the medicine. I've tried twice. How's Clem doing? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Oh. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Nothing wrong about that. 
Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? I'll tell you what. When we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Aw. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Aw. Just learning. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Oh. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. Yeah. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. <laughs> oh, I love you, Clem. You're so adorable. Just a bunch of paste. Looks tasty. <laughs> Pamphlets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Creepy. Initials of person conducting search. TMR. Uh, days since outbreak. Three. Number of walkers... Well, no, days since outbreak. Uh, number of walkers found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Two. Number of ineligible citizens found. One. What the hell? Alright. That's kind of weird. Let's see what's going on here. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> well, fuck you, Kenny. I'll just tell her to drop the battery in the water. What water, you ask? No one knows. All right, well, let's go see if we can help out the medicine people. Because they've refused it twice, but, you know, <laughs> third time's a charm. I want to find the combination of that damn locker. Hey, I forgot the, the walkers were in that room. They're also right outside that door. Jesus. That's scary as shit. Shell casings, eh? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here, it wasn't good. Yep. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Why give me the option to pick them up? I still don't understand that. Oh. Shit. What the fuck? You kidding me? How'd they get trapped in there? Vernon must be trapped in there. You fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Bam! Bam! Oh, that probably wasn't the best idea, but it seemed to be the only option. And it. 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 you! And. Alright, they're dead. Well, let's hope that it didn't attract too many more. Hey! Hi! Yeah. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, no. Key code? Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Hmm. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Hmm. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Oh, great. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. <laughs> what is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. <laughs> All right. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. All right. 
Not working. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Well. Looks like some kind of medical file. Let's look at the medical file. Uh, uh Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? A tape. Can we listen to the tape? There's some sort of tape player around here. Let's talk to him. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Well, it took you guys about eight hours to open the door to get in here, so yeah. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Hmm. Let's just leave it at that, huh? All right. Uh. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Yep. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I True heard that. that. True we'll that. see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. All right. Well, what else we got around here? Ah, uh, uh, video. We'll watch that in a second. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Yeah, she's totally pregnant. <laughs> totally, totally pregnant. There's dried blood on this printer. And on the floor. Eh. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? <laughs> she's pregnant. I called it earlier. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. <laughs> All right. already cleaned out all right well let's uh still battery this camera set up it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad i wonder if it cut someone punching it in wonder well, let's stick the tape in and find out still have power right. hopefully krista come look at this this is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. All right. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, no. They're going to do an abortion? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Aww. You have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. This fucking sucks. I'll give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Let's see here. Beep. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Too bad. Anna, you don't have a choice. Oh, that now, sucks. If you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Well, time to do some Vicodin. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's all that was on there? Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, yeah. maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Uh, maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Great. So Molly probably had an abortion forced by that guy. Excellent. Looks like I'm going on an adventure. <laughs>